my name is Kylie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel if you're a returning person. If you're a new subscriber, hit that subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. Today's video is going to be a collective haul from places like Ulta, Sephora, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, all of my favorite stores. But I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see a collective haul or if you would want to see an empties video and everyone said haul. So here I am. A few weeks ago, I placed an order on Sephora.com and I got a couple new things. Ugh. By the way guys, I couldn't wait to use all these products, so like none of them are in their packaging, so sorry. <laughs> this is the Cinema Secrets Ultra Lucid Setting Powder. It's colorless. I wanted to get a new setting powder because I felt like the Laura Mercier translucent powder was too drying for me when I baked and I wanted to see if it was just the powder or if I didn't like baking. And honestly, I use this. It's not that it's a bad powder. I just don't think it's good for baking. Baking isn't really my specialty. I'm not really into that. But I did want to try out another powder. Now, this one's pretty good. I believe it's like $28. I wouldn't say it's worth $20. I'd say definitely go with something like Mac Studio Fix. Also from Sephora, I got this Sephora Brow Contour Brush in 36. This is the weirdest brush ever. Um, I'm gonna put in a close up for you guys so you can see it. But it's super tiny and super short. I tried to use it to fill my brows the first time I used it and I did not like it. So I just use it to carve out my brows with concealer and it's super, super amazing. I'm so glad I purchased it. I also decided to try the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I just had a little travel. This is two ounces. I just wanted to see if I liked it. Um, it's supposed to be a spot cleaner and I thought it would be super amazing for when I do makeup tutorials and I want to use this same brush like twice with a different color. I really, really love this. I think it does an amazing job. I've only used it a couple times, but I would 10 out of 10 recommend this and I definitely will be buying the full size. All right, so next we're gonna go to what I got from MAC. The first thing I picked up for the first time ever, I've been dying to try this and I don't know what has taken me so long considering the Studio Fix Fluid is my favorite foundation of all time. But I finally got this Studio Fix powder. This is in C4.5. It's a little dark for me and I feel like it is a little pink. But honestly, this is the best powder I've ever used in my entire life. I'm gonna go pick up a lighter one so I can use it to set underneath my eyes. It's a powder foundation, but I really love to use it over top of my Studio Fix Fluid Foundation for a super full coverage look. It's so, so amazing. So when I went to MAC, I also picked up a Studio Fix Fluid in C4. My powder was in C4.5, and the lady told me if I was going to put the powder and the foundation together, go half a shade lighter on one of them. This is my favorite foundation of all time. I would 100% recommend this to anyone and everyone. It's great for oily skin, it's great for dry skin. It's super full coverage and it's just super amazing. I would 100,000% recommend it. The last thing I picked up from MAC is MAC Fix Plus. I've gone through two or three of these and I wanna say this is the best. It's not marketed as a setting spray, but I use it to set my face. It leaves a nice dewy sheen. I 100,000% love this, super hydrating. If you have oily skin, it's not gonna make you more oily. If you have dry skin, it's just gonna feel super cool and amazing. I love this product. It'll intensify eyeshadow, intensifies highlights, and it just sets your makeup in so good. So that's all I got from MAC, onto what I got from Ulta. I picked up this NYX HD Finishing Powder in the color Banana. I wanted to try this underneath my eyes to see if it did a really nice brightening effect because the Anastasia Beverly Hills Banana is a little bit too dark for me when I'm at my palest and this is a little bit lighter. I love this powder. It is so smooth. I have it under my eyes today. I would so recommend it. It's so, so good. It's only $10. I love it. Also from Ulta, I picked up the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe. I have yet to use this, but I've heard amazing things about it. I've heard it's like the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Wiz, but I haven't tried the Brow Wiz because I'm not usually into brow pencils. I thought I'd try this one out first to see if I liked it, and then if I really liked it, I would go for the Brow Wiz. This is $10, and I will let you guys know if it is worth the buy. I also picked up the number seven beautiful eyebrow sculpting pencil. This has the same shape as the brow definer and I loved the Anastasia brow definer about six months ago. It was a huge kick of mine. I was into it. It's just an amazing shape. So I thought I'd see if this could compare to it. All right, so that's all I got from Ulta. Now onto some makeup wipes I picked up from Walgreens. 
From Walgreens, I picked up the Burt's Bees Sensitive Facial Cleansing Towelettes with Cotton Extract. I decided to try these. My favorite are the Neutrogena in the Blue packaging. They're absolutely amazing. But I thought I'd give the Burt's Bees ones a try because I have really sensitive skin and they have special ones for people with sensitive skin. Wow, that was redundant. But I will keep you guys updated on this too and let you know if I love them. Now on to Marshalls and TJ Maxx. They're the same company, so I'm just going to put them under the same category because it's a lot easier. I picked up the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Pore Refiner with Hint of Tint. This is for oilier combination skin. Um, I have really big pores around my cheek area and on my nose, so I thought I'd try this. I've only used this once or twice, so I'm not sure my thoughts on it yet. But I do know that it's around the similar consistency of the Benefit Professional. So if you have the Benefit Professional, I would not say buy this because it's basically the same thing. From Marshalls, I also picked up the Bare Minerals Prep Step Moisture Set Radiant Prep Cream. I decided to pick this up because it sounded kind of like Max Strobe Cream. Max Strobe Cream is like $32 or $33 and I don't want to spend that much money on just a prep cream. So I thought I'd try this one. I'm really excited. And I will let you guys know how this goes. A little while ago, around Christmas time, there was some MAC brushes that were like travel size at my local TJ Maxx, and I bought them for $50. I bought them not knowing that they were travel size. I'm not really into travel size brushes that much, so I returned it because I was like, well, if I'm gonna spend $50 on travel size brushes, I might as well just go buy the full size. But today I went back and they had the same brushes. They just weren't in the box. Um, they had the same brushes for $4. These are all travel size, but honestly, for $4, they're real authentic MAC brushes. You really cannot go wrong. You have a shader brush, a concealer brush, what looks like a lip brush, the 224, which is my favorite crease brush of all time, a powder brush, and a flat paddle foundation brush. And I got this all for $4. Guys, seriously, check out your Marshalls, check out your TJ Maxx. $4 and I get five MAC brushes, 110,000% worth it. Also from TJ Maxx and Marshalls, I picked up two new Michael Kors bracelets. I picked up this one, it's rose gold and has some diamonds on it, super cute, I love it. And then I also picked up this one, it's super tiny, it's regular gold and then it has pink diamonds on it. I love them, I love stacking my Michael Kors bracelets, I think they look so cute. Mixing gold and rose gold, favorite thing ever, totally worth it. I would 110% recommend Michael Kors stuff. If you're a teenager and you're deciding whether or not to get a Michael Kors purse or a watch or something, I would say do it, do it, do it. Life is too short. That's it for my haul. I wanted to thank you all so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm gonna try to upload every week. I didn't last week because it was finals week, so it was a little stressful, but I'm gonna try to stay really consistent for you guys. Let me know if you like the camera quality of this camera or the camera quality of my last videos better because it's a different camera. I'm just testing out new cameras. And I think that's it. I wanted to thank you all so, so much for watching. Be sure to watch my other videos. And I'll see you in the next one.